I'm John Draper from American Hunter, and I want to talk to you for a little bit about tree stand safety. Right now, as hunters are entering the woods, scouting out locations and setting stands, the most important thing we all have to remember is tree stand safety. It's the difference between you coming home to your family or not. So I want to leave you with five tips to follow to make sure that you come home after a hunt. Tip number one, and probably the most important, always use a climbing harness. Find one that fits well and works for you. There's many different options available, so there's no excuse not to own one. And once you own one, make sure you use it. Tip number two, and I can't emphasize this enough, always check your tree stand and ladder before the season. Straps have a tendency to fall apart and stands can rust out. Last thing you wanna do is be standing in a stand when that happens. Tip number three is ropes. You wanna make sure to always use a climbing rope when climbing your stand. This wraps around the tree and makes sure that, God forbid you slip, you're not falling off. Once you're in the stand, you wanna make sure you always use a haul rope to get your gear up. This makes sure that you don't have rifles strapped on your back or a hand holding your bow while you're climbing your stand. Because bad things can happen, and they usually do if you're not ready for them. Tip number four, and one that I always like to remember, is what I call the rule of three. This means you need to always have three points in contact to your ladder when climbing up. Whether it's two feet in a hand or two hands in your feet, three points make sure you're on your ladder and you're gonna stay there. And tip number five is always keep important emergency items on your person. They do you no good in a pack. And I'm talking about a whistle, a flashlight, and a knife. Those are the main things that you need on your person in case you do fall out of your tree. A whistle is there to alert other hunters in the area of your uh, distress situation. A cell phone can do the same thing. And a knife is always handy to cut yourself out of your straps if you need to. And if you keep these five tips in mind when you enter the whitetail woods this year, you'll make sure to get home to your family safe and secure. They'll appreciate it and you'll have a better season for it. For more tips like this, visit AmericanHunter.org.